Hey guys, I just came from a realtor round table here in Niagara and I'm all fired up as you can tell from the gun references I'm using in this title. So what is the flavor of Niagara real estate in the second half of 2022? Buyers have gone from trigger happy to gun shy. In the past couple of years, 2020, 2021, buyers were caught up in a fervor. They had this real sense of FOMO and the market was a lot less predictable. So we thought, you know, there's not that many homes out there and people want them and everybody wants them all at the same time. So people were putting in offers up to, you know, 10 or more offers on properties just to try to land one. Everybody was chasing the top of the market then. You didn't really know exactly where prices were gonna go. It seemed like every next house was selling for way more than the one before it. Up until we got to about February and March of 2022, when things started to change and then they changed drastically. <laughs> In around May of 2022, you started to hear and see a kind of holding back by buyers that you hadn't seen for a couple of years. So the first things that I heard were, oh, buyers were about to come in with an offer, but then they decided to hold back. And then suddenly there were no more bidding wars. Why? There weren't all these buyers lined up to bid on a property. People were starting to hold back and that cautiousness was seeping in. And now what we have is a spreading pervasiveness of buyers being cautious. One thing that shows us that is we have a ton of sale of property conditions. That's something you may not know about, but it's the condition of sale on the buyer's property in order to firm up your purchase. So seeing that just shows you that the buyer isn't necessarily sure that they're going to sell their property right away or that they're gonna sell it for as much as they need to to purchase their home. Showings have gone way down on homes and open houses aren't all that busy. We've also got the media tapping into that kind of fear and hesitation and buyers telling them that things are gonna get worse and worse as we go along. So now we get into the end of September, 2022. I sat at a round table of realtors across Niagara and what did they have to say? So we know what the buyer sentiment is generally out there. Realtors are also talking and what are they saying? Realtors are confirming those buyers are cautious. There are, are all of these conditions and people are holding back before they're buying. Despite the fact that a lot of us are saying things are starting to look good in terms of buying or there are other factors in buying right now, such as seller sentiment, that may help them to get a good price on a house right now, not a lot of buyers are tapping into that. And they're saying that they're starting to see things start to level off, or at least the signs of things leveling off. And by that, I mean price. We're waiting for that leveling off to come, where we start to get to this comfortable level of pricing and people start buying again. And what they're saying is they're starting to see the signs. And a sentiment I heard was that we're gonna have a quiet winter, but things may start to pick up in the spring, as they normally do. So normally spring markets are pretty busy, while in the winter, things are pretty slow. People wanna enjoy their holidays. Nobody really wants to go out or move in the snow. So I'm gonna quote the title of the latest Your Niagara Realtor podcast by my homeboys Patrick Burke and Shonda Lott. The market in Niagara is in an uncomfortable spot right now. And what makes a real estate market uncomfortable? Imbalance. So we had such an imbalance weighted on the seller side for 2020, 2021, and the beginning of 2022. And now it's just dropped right over to the other side and it's imbalanced on the buyer side right now. So the question is, as we approach 2023 and that coming new spring market, are things going to start to balance? Are they gonna to get to that happy place where people are buying and selling and we're negotiating and things are happening quite smoothly? Or are we gonna see another hard turn, maybe to the opposite direction again to the sellers like we've seen the past couple of years? It's a tough question, nobody really has the answer to it, but there's so much to be talked about right now and realtors work is really coming into play. So if you have more questions or wanna talk about it more, hit up your girl, NaomiNightRealEstate.com. There's endless amounts.